ever look back and think what the hell was I thinking? Well, most likely you weren't thinking at all because when we're highly emotional, our brain just shuts down and won't let us focus or think intelligently or rationally. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how making decisions based on emotions is screwing up your decision making. So stay tuned. Hey love bug, I'm Vivi. Welcome to Adventure Evolve. My channel is all about guiding you to an exceptional relationship with yourself, with your partner, and just live a more beautiful life due to emotional intelligence. If this is something that you wanna improve in your life, consider subscribing and hit the little notification bell to get notified whenever I release a new video and you should definitely do that because there's a bunch of really amazing videos that you should go check out after this video. Here are the ways our emotions can screw up our decision making. Well let's be honest, first of all we all make decisions based on emotions all the time. The question is what are the emotions that we base our decisions on? If we are super angry, super emotional, we might make decisions that we regret afterwards. And I'm sure that if you think back, you probably remember a time where you've done that or at least you know someone who has done something out of an emotion, of a temporary emotion like anger, frustration, hate, sadness, um, that actually led to an action that has hurt him or her more in the long term than just thinking clearly and taking action based off or out of a different more grounded emotion in life. So most of the time when we make a decision out of what we call negative emotions, which in a way we already know that there's no negative emotions, we just call them like that because we interpret them as negative, like frustration, anger, um, sadness, all the negative emotions mostly lead to um, a very vulnerable place, high risk and low payoff in the long term. They also most of the time lead to unexpected and reckless actions. Because of the emotion we're temporarily feeling, we take action out of a different judgment and see the situation in a complete different angle than we would normally see the situation. So most of the time when this happens, we make a super quick decision and then later on we try to justify the decision rationally just because well the decision is already made and we do not want to look stupid and say like well yeah actually I was highly emotional and I didn't think and I just reacted and now I have to deal with the consequences so we find justifications to deal with it and to just say like oh yeah that was totally on purpose and I was totally right and um, hello like of course I was right like what do you think how else should I have reacted like Seriously, like obviously I'm right, right? At the same time, feeling like sadness can make us settle for less than we actually want or hope. Sadness can lead us to a position where we give up on our hopes and dreams and goals just because we think, oh, it's not gonna happen anyway. And then we don't wanna deal with the disappointment. So we give up, we just don't do things. We just let it be just because we already said. I mean, what's the point? Why should we even try? It's not gonna work out anyway. But this does not only happen with the negative feelings. This also happens with excitement. I mean, I've lived in Vegas and if you've ever been to a casino, I'm sure you've noticed that people get super excited. And what happens when people get super excited? They underestimate the risk. And then they spend all their money because they're so sure that they're gonna win. And when they're super emotional and super excited, we take a higher risk, which in a lot of cases can be great, but sometimes it can hurt us more than it's useful. Also, making decisions based out of an emotion can lead to anxiety. And once we feel anxiety in one area of life, it is really easy to transfer the same anxiety to other areas of our life without us even noticing. So all these emotions, no matter of happiness, excitement, sadness, grief, anger, whenever we're highly emotional, can lead us 
to screwing up our decision making and actually harm us in the long term. So what do we do? Should we not make any decision anymore? Well, there's like a million decision to make every single day. What do we do? How do we deal with it? Well, it is important that we just know that whenever we are highly emotional, we make decisions from a different point of view, from a different judgment. So just having the awareness will help us a lot being more conscious about, oh, what kind of decision am I making? Am I making this decision just because I'm really emotional right now? Or am I making this decision because I truly believe that I'll make the same decision tomorrow and in a week from now because I know it's the right way to do it. If you're not sure if you're gonna make the same decision tomorrow or in a week or in a year from now, then maybe you're just very emotional right now and you should wait till the emotion calms down a little bit and you get back to your normal state of being and think, okay, is this actually the right thing to do? And I'm sure I want to do this right now. If I'm doing what I have in my head right now, is this a story that I want to tell in the future? And if not, well then we know we're acting out of high emotions and it's gonna harm us in the long term. Therefore, it is also really important that we communicate in a very effective way. I have an incredible training for that. It's linked in the description box below. So definitely go check it out because communication makes and breaks our relationships with ourselves, with other people. And it's just a very, very important part of our life. And communicating emotionally intelligently really changes a lot in our life if we really integrate it. So go get that training below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family so they know whenever they're highly emotional, they should not make very important decisions. And consider subscribing if you like this video and if you want to learn more about emotional intelligence and living a better life.